you know, if you're staying at someone else's house, you you need to wear some clothes. I know exactly who I am, where, where. Hello, Heavy Metal Maidens and Masters. I'm Heavy Metal Mama, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, you asked, and I am delivering. It's a loungewear haul. Hell yeah. But before we get to that, remember to like this video. Comment down below to discuss any of the things that come up in the video. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you can find out whenever I upload. And welcome. So you asked, you asked for the loungewear haul and I am delivering, I am delivering. Now, before lockdown, there is no way you would have caught me dead in loungewear. I never really understood why people had their jammies or their tracksuits when they got home. I totally get it now, I totally get it. The main reason why I wasn't into loungewear or pyjamas was because I couldn't find anything that was in the least bit gothy feeling and I like to feel spoopy at all times. <laughs> so <laughs> I am definitely somebody who is all about the aesthetic. You're never gonna catch me in pink. So I managed to get my hands on some spoopy loungewear. I've got various different types, quite a lot to show you. It's very exciting, so let's get on with the video. So a little while ago I filmed, I think it was a wild mode leggings and comfort top that I got, which was like a spiderweb one. I'll put the link to the video up here and down in the description, you know the drill. And I mentioned in the video that I was really gutted that I they had sold out of the Beetlejuice fabric because I really wanted one. And Debs messaged me and said, I've got a little bit of it left, would you like one? So I was like, yes, 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 take my money. <laughs> so, so I bought myself, this really, really cool Beetlejuice comfort top because I love their comfort tops. They're so comfortable. I wear them under my loungewear. I also wear them when I'm doing rock fit. So they're sort of, you know, when you, you, you need something, I can't go braless. In bed, I can go braless, but I can't walk around braless. My, my, I've had two children. It's not comfortable. But these are brilliant for if I want to go braless because underwear bras are uncomfortable. But yeah, these are fantastic. I also wear them when I do my rock fit as like crop tops because I've just got fairly boring, cheap, little sports leggings because I really begrudge paying £55 for a pair of sweaty betties or more than that. I think the cheapest pair I've ever bought my mum were about 50 quid. So I tend to just wear Lidl's sports leggings at £7 a pair and a really cool wild mode comfort top. So I absolutely love these. I love the Beetlejuice fabric. It's just so awesome. And I picked this one because I thought, well, black and white, it's, I tend to, if I'm going to throw another color in, I can only cope with one. So um, I asked for the black and white with the green, uh, but bless her, Deb's being Deb's because she's such a sweetie. She sent me masks as well, again, because she knows I have a mask addiction. <laughs> so actually I have a wild mode mask addiction particularly, but no, I do have a mask addiction. And um, so she sent me one in the fabric that matches the comfort top. So I can, yeah, look flipping awesome. And she also sent me one in this purple Beetlejuice fabric, which is absolutely gorgeous. I love the purple fabric. I almost think I love it more than the white one, which, so I might have to see if she's got um, any more fabric lying around and I can get a purple one as well. So the purple fabric has got little Beetlejuice faces on and like the sand eels and that kind of thing. It's just so cool and so cute. And it means I've now got an actual purple mask to go with my purple Vixen coat. Is it Vixen? My purple coat, my purple coat. Again, link to that video up there of all my coat collections. So yes, I am absolutely loving my two masks and of course my comfort top, which is incredibly comfortable. <laughs> and if you wanna pick yourselves up some wild mode masks or comfort tops or pants, or she's now doing reusable pads or all sorts of wonderful, wonderful things. There's a new project coming as well. She won't tell me what it is, but there's something afoot. You can use the code heavy metal mama. I'll put it up there and that will get you a 20% discount at wild mode, the next items. So. Obviously, while we're in lockdown, you can't go to Primark, but in between lockdown, so in the, I think it was about the September, October time, I'd gone to Primark. Actually, I must have gone just before Christmas because the first load of stuff that I got for Christmas, I got these. These are Stranger Things pajamas. So we've got, they're fleecy, they're 100% polyester. They've got Stranger Things written all over the bottoms. They've got like a cuff on the bottom cuff on the top, drawstring waist, 
and then a matching it's like a long sleeve that says stranger things on it these are both basically made of like fleece material they're 100 percent polyester but i got a pair for heavy metal hubby and then he got a pair for me <laughs> so we actually have matching pajamas we are that couple that wear the matching stranger things pajamas and we re, re rock it we look awesome in them together <laughs> so now if you pop over to our house unannounced of an evening we are probably both on the sofa in our matching pajamas because <laughs> we're that sad but we love it we love it <laughs> so <laughs> prior to buying those ones at christmas though in the september october i had gone to primark and i had picked myself up these so these are i know i know they're white i know but i needed some summer pajamas because the only pair of pajamas that i had owned i bought in about 2002 they were little miss naughty ones they were gray and purple which i really used to make me feel uncomfortable wearing them i basically used to wear them when i went on like mum's trips away and we stayed overnight or something you know if you're staying at someone else's house you you need to wear some clothes so <laughs> so they were my only pair of pajamas they made me feel deeply uncomfortable because they weren't black and then i saw these in primark so this is like a stranger things vest top and it came with the bottoms now to be honest the bottoms i was like i probably won't wear them but they are kind of handy to have in the summer and i think this set was like 10 pounds might have been even less i mainly wanted the crop top to go with this so these i had to buy as separate but i bought them both so this is a Stranger Things hoodie. So this is embroidered, this, and then on the back it says, we're not in Hawkins anymore on the back. It's got a hoodie. It's got like these sort of like splits up the side there, which actually makes them it really comfortable to wear because it gives you a bit more sort of range of movement. It's a slightly more squared off hoodie than I would have normally bought, but I really like it. Honestly, it's so, so comfortable and matching bottoms with i love this the red drawstrings on them really really like the red drawstrings and it says here we're not in hawkins anymore on the bottoms as well now i actually love these so much i actually have two pairs of them one of the pairs is my cleaning set only because i was wearing one of them once and i was cleaning and i got bleach on them and they've gone a bit orange so one set is now my cleaning set of loungewear <laughs> so <laughs> So I now even have a cleaning outfit uh, and that is my good set that I wear, you know, that is my nice set to not clean in basically. But it is really nice having an outfit that I can just go, right, it's cleaning time. I'm just going to take off my nice clothes, put that tracksuit on, do all the cleaning, all the bleaching, all the hoovering. It doesn't matter if you get a bit hot and sweaty in it and then it just goes in the wash and it's easily identifiable as the cleaning one because it's got big orange splodges on it <laughs> so I honestly it was everywhere I don't know how I managed to do it it was up the sleeves down the front all over the knees I got bleach everywhere <laughs> but never mind never mind so yeah they were all from Primark I think the hoodie I think the hoodie was about eight pound and the same for the bottoms or it might have been eight pound and six pound or something like that I think in all the tracksuit cost me under 20 pound now that Primark is reopened because apparently there was like a two hour queue to get in there you can possibly go and pick yourself one up. They are really comfortable. Obviously, my colour scheme, because it's black and red. Love, love, love all of these different pajamas. You know, me and Heavy Metal Hubby like being sad gits and wearing matching pajamas. And we thought they'd be really, really handy when we go camping, um, because it's really, it, you just want to have something warm that you can pull on in the caravan and then walk to the toilet block in and that you don't worry too much about getting a bit dirty so the tracksuit's great for that because it's really really warm but you can have your pajamas on underneath because when we're camping you want pajamas <laughs> so and they're going to be great at download festival because they're nice fleecy pajamas which is going to be wonderful in the tent because it's always freezing in the tent the next item the wonderful kate the lovely kate we love you kate the wonderful kate sent me some loungewear in a big parcel that she sent me a little while ago i've split this parcel up into about five videos now because it was insane the amount of stuff so this was the same parcel that all of my homeware stuff came in she sent me this gothic attitudes cable knit top and trousers set it's oh i love it i love it i love it it's full-on loungewear for when it's mega cold honestly this will be amazing when camping because it is seriously warm seriously warm it's really cool cable knit 
So it's 100% acrylic net cable knit as well, which means it's vegan. There's, there's no worries about it being made with animal wool. And because it's acrylic, oh my God, is it warm. Oh my God, is it warm. Now I must admit the first time I wore it, I was a, it was a little itchy, but I think it was mainly because I needed to wash it with some fabric conditioner. I don't tend to wear it straight on my skin on my top half. I tend to wear a sort of an old t-shirt or something underneath it only because I, I just don't want to, I don't like the feel of it under my armpits and where it's got this high neck um it can get a little much here if I don't have any I don't know why I think it's just because I'm getting a little older and you just get a little hot honestly this thing when camping it, it could drop well below zero and you would still be snuggly snuggly warm in this it's, so it's really cool it's got two pockets at the front and these are look look at that my hands just utterly and completely disappeared into these pockets. The cable knit as well means that it's got loads of stretch in it because of the, the way that the cable knit works. So it's really, really comfy top and the bottoms, they're not tight on me at all. You could be quite a bit taller than me. I think from the website it said that they were, the bottoms were 89 centimeters long. I'm not quite sure where they measured that from. I'm thinking it's from crotch to ankle. It's got a drawstring here as well to you know keep you nice and safely in there and it's elasticated so these are so so warm i went round to a friend's house the other day because in the uk now we're allowed outside we're allowed to meet in people's gardens and i wore this i wore this there you know i had thought my first outfit out was going to be some crazy punk rave thing or you know i, I had all these plans but i wanted to be warm that was my main thing was i wanted to be warm so i got there i wore this lounge suit with my Koi Rymo Core trainers and honestly this looks really cool. When I see some of the mums in there's like there's a crew of mums at the school and they tend to all wear tracksuits and trainers. But it's like it's quite a polished tracksuit. I'm wondering if like 15 years ago it would have all been the juicy couture tracksuits. I don't know what the in thing is. It's not my bag at all, the kind of you know expensive tracksuit. But I could be the goth version of them in this with my Rymo Core trainers. <laughs> so it amuses me greatly but um this was so so warm i was really really snuggly it wasn't until about 11 o'clock at night that i was like oh i'm a little bit chilly i might put something else on and i'll tell you what i put on in a minute but remember if you want to purchase something like that that is the gothic attitudes cable knit top and trouser set you can get that from Kate's Clothing and you can get a 15% discount. You know I've always got a code for you. So the discount for April is Mama April 15. I will put it up there. It will be down in the description. I will also make sure it, it comes up at the end of this video because you know I love giving you guys a code. So that is the Gothic Attitude Cable Knit Top and Trouser Set. Seriously snuggly, warm and cool. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Okay, now the last thing. The last thing. This is super exciting. Okay, I said in my previous video that I am trying to buy stuff from more sustainable brands, from brands that have better ethics. And Emily Boo has been going on and on about Mary Wyatt. In fact, I have met the crew from Mary Wyatt numerous times at London Edge. They are a lovely bunch of people. And I've always quite liked some of their stuff. It's always just been a little youthful for my taste. It's got that kind of grunge core-ness to it, which, I, I, do, I think I'm sure I could pull it off. It just reminds me of stuff that I used to wear when I was 15. And so I it feels odd to, to wear that kind of thing, you know? So it's not necessarily totally my style, a lot of their stuff. And then I saw this. Oh, and then I saw this. This is the Going Nowhere onesie. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. This is a full size onesie it says mary wyatt on the sleeves in like a black metal band you can't read it at all kind of print and then down the sleeve here we have got uh, a skull a hand an eye and i'm not sure if that's supposed to be an iris or a brain cell or or what it is but very very cool images down the other arm and then it's swapped on either leg as well you've still got those images and then on the back 
we've got this amazing print on the back. So we've got a skull with like a moon rising behind it in like a dystopian skull filled cave with a person stood at the front. Every time I look at it, I find more stuff. Uh, and then it's got Mary Wyatt in red here. So I mean, it is just all my colors, all my colors. It is absolutely gorgeous. So not only is it you know, a really cool onesie. It's got two front pockets here like you would get on a zip hoodie, but it also has a proper zip up side pocket here. So if you are camping, for example, and you wanna to go to the toilet block or whatever, you can put your keys and your phone in here and not have to worry about them accidentally falling down the toilet. <laughs> so especially useful at festivals that you can put your phone in there. Uh, you could also, if you were going out somewhere, put your keys in here. I mean, if you wanted to wear it on the school run, you could definitely put your keys in that pocket there and not have to worry about if you run or something that it will fall out. It has also got the, uh, you know, the usual zip front. It's got a drawstring on the hood. It's a big hood as well. It's so, so cool. So I am 160 centimeters, that is five foot three, and I got it in a size one. Now the sizes go six, eight, 10 is a size one, then 10, 12, 14 is a size two, and then 14, 16, 18 is a size three. So of course, because I was a 10, I was like, well, do I get the one or do I get the two? So what I did was I measured my loungewear that I've already got, and then put it against the measurements for this item, and when I was measuring it, I was like, the, the tracksuit that I have, the measurements are coming up very similar to the size one, whereas the size three is a couple of inches bigger. And I just thought, I think the size three might be so baggy that it's, it's too much. I, there is a small part of me that wished I had bought a size three instead, only because, so I'm 160 centimeters, I'm not a tall lady. It's fine if I'm stood up, if I'm normally sat down, it's fine. But if I, for example, I'm sitting down and then go to do up my shoes, get a slight wedgie. <laughs> so, <laughs> only slight, but a slight wedgie. So you need to be very aware of the length. My husband was desperate for one of these. He was absolutely desperate to get one of these when I showed him them. And I wrote to them and, and said, you know, what, what do you think? would he fit them um, and they basically said this is the measurement from crotch to shoulder so what we did is he's got a um, Rick Sanchez onesie that I got him from Primark I think that was last Christmas so it, it literally he looks like Rick if you do it up um, it, he's in the lab coat and everything so we measured that from crotch to shoulder and there is no way that the size three would have fit him at all absolutely no way with him being six foot five which is a bit of a shame so I think don't go so much on the waist size. Obviously, if you're five foot, then go on your waist size. But I would say you are better to go with the crotch to shoulder measurement on your height and ignore everything else. Because, for example, Mama Goth is at least three or four inches short, taller than me. I would recommend she goes for the size three because I think otherwise it wouldn't be particularly comfortable on her. But oh, it's gorgeous. It's like a fleece backed jersey. So it's lovely and warm. I managed to get it over the top of my Gothic Attitude cable knit top and trouser set when I was at my friend's house outside. Uh, and I was so warm then, honestly. I would brought a blanket, I brought hat and gloves, I brought all this other stuff, didn't need any of it, didn't need any of it. To be honest, it got to a point where I was like, I'm almost too hot, and I was considering taking this off again. But then I was like, oh no, but there's nothing worse than once you get cold, when you're outside, you, you can't warm up again. So I, 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 I stuck it out, I stuck it out. Everything stank of wood smoke afterwards. Um, it has washed beautifully. That was the thing, I was gonna film this a while ago, but I hadn't washed it yet. I have now washed it because it stank. <laughs> so <laughs> it was the thing, we had a wood burning, little wood burning stove out, and so everything stank of wood smoke. I, even my, my hat and gloves, which had, didn't even come out the bag, they all stank of it as well. This thing, oh, it's so cool. You just feel absolutely just the, the coolest. I'm going to wear the bejesus out of this when we go camping, all those things. Oh, it's just great, it's just great. Really, really impressed with it. Really impressed with the quality of it. Really impressed with all the quality of the stitching. Everything's been finished beautifully. I mean, look, look, so in here, like a lot of the time you just get like an overlocked edge. They've actually then stitched over like sort of canvas bias tape on top of it. It's just 
beautifully, beautifully made. The hood is lined in jersey sort of t-shirt fabric. Such attention to detail. It has been so well constructed. Really, really impressed. So that was the Mary Wyatt Going Nowhere onesie. And I actually have one of those members codes down in the description. So if you want to get, I think it's £10 off your order. I think you need to spend at least £40. But if you want to get £10 off, use the code down in my description box. And you can bag yourself £10 off. It also gets me £10 off. So please, please do that. Please do that. And then I can buy some more stuff because I am so impressed with the quality. I will definitely be shopping with Mary White again. In fact, I've been umming and ahhing about I was going to buy this and a pair of trousers and a top. And I was gutted because I waited. I paused and waited because I was a bit sort of, should I be spending this much money? Because it was nearly a £200 order for the three items. And I did have a 15% discount code. So I was like, oh, well, you know, if I use it on the whole thing, it's cheaper. And then I, but I paused and then they sold out my size. And when I messaged them, they said I could go to the size eight, but because I, I'd put on a bit of weight, I was a bit nervous about getting the size eight. And yeah, and then there's eight sold out as well. So I was a bit gutted, but you never know. Hopefully, hopefully they'll get those trousers restocked. Please, 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 please. If you're watching Mary Wyatt, please restock them at the Reagan trousers, I think they're called. I really want them. They're so gorgeous. They're so gorgeous. But honestly, I am definitely going to be purchasing more items from Mary Wyatt. The, oh, the quality, absolutely magnificent. I definitely, definitely, definitely recommend. Use the code, use the code. <laughs> You won't regret it, I promise you won't regret it. Well, that was my loungewear haul. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed filming it for you. I hope you enjoyed the, I mean, it's obviously not the usual sort of impressive figure fitting type things, but at the moment, I've put on a bit of weight. I'm not hugely up for filming a, a try on at the moment. I don't feel very body confident. That was fun filming that, so, <laughs> you know, I really enjoyed that. Let me know what you think of all the items. Will you be hitting Primark to pick yourself up some Stranger Things stuff? Will you be ordering some Beetlejuice wild mode stuff or just some other wild mode stuff? I mean, she's got some amazing prints out at the moment. Will you be getting the Gothic Attitude cable knit top and trouser set? I, honestly, that thing is so warm. If you get cold, yeah, get that thing. And will you be getting the Going Nowhere onesie? Oh my God, yeah, go check out everybody that I've mentioned. Remember to like this video, comment down below to tell me which one you like the best or anything else that you wanna discuss. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and thank you to all of you that already do. Hit that notification bell so you can find out whenever I upload. And remember people, stay heavy. <laughs>